All right, folks. So, as you can see, we have the wall. I cut a little triangle right there, so that we the finger him to get his finger in there to pull out the battery pack when he has to recharge it. So. As you can see, it fits in there nice and tight. So, even when it's upside down, it really ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so now, looking at the reference picture, the reference art, <clears throat> I'm going to start <clears throat> laying down the EVA wire where I want it to go and then <clears throat> the parts where it's really shining out bright I'm going to get myself a marker to mark those areas because on some parts I'm going to have the L wire looping down and up in certain areas I want to get internal glows as well as external glows about four strands. I want to make sure I have more than enough to do the job. So basically I'm doing dots, <coughs> entry and exit points. I want to go. So I have some, some of the areas marked off on this one. So right now, I will show you. <clears throat> I want to pretty much punch the holes. You can use um, the heated um, blade cutter if you want to just poke holes through. Like so. I'm not too worried about the size of the holes because I'm going to coat the entire blade when I'm done with liquid latex, black liquid latex. Uh, because the blade is more of an organic thing in the game. And I found that liquid latex will give the best effect that I want for this. And um, 
a little bit text, you can easily, you know, add, add a little bit more here and there to cover up any excess of the holes, you know, showing. So, um, that's basically what I'm going to do with that. Now, if you don't use a heated, um, the heated method I just did, you can use anything sharp for EVA foam. Yeah, scissors, um, speed driving even. Just take it and just pop it right through. Just like that. Open this hole just a little bit bigger. Now, once I get this whole side done it in place, I'm not going to glue anything down just yet. I'm going to pull it out to the other side the same way. Pull that out. Make sure everything is going just the way it should. Um, once that happens, I'm going to go ahead and finish edging off my stuff, coat the whole thing in liquid latex, and then put this back through it. And after I do that, uh, I'm going to put a little more latex to close up the holes that you see. The reason why I'm doing it this way is I want to make sure that everything is laying just the way I want it to. With no hiccups. It take a little bit more work, but it's going to pay off and it looks good. I'm also going to do a little airbrushing on this too. Uh, once again, you see um, the areas that are red and lit up. It's not just one little like red beam. Uh, you're actually seeing gradations going from jet black into the red areas. So I'm going to also airbrush some of that in there. Which is also why I'm, I'm going to wait and, you know, glue this in last after all that is done. Go a little trick sometimes when trying to find the holes. So a flashlight through it. Another way is sometimes to tie a string to one end and you can just pull it through.
A folk fan, as you can see, pretty much shoestringed the L wire through it. That's how it looks right up. Now, areas like here, I'm going to have this latex down so you can't even see that part. You know, little spots fall off the bottom and do that. Then, um, I'm going to take one more string, one more strand, I should say, and I'm going to just drape it and weave it all across the blade. And then, parts I don't want to see, I'm going to go ahead and cover up with the bomb with black latex. Um, in case you guys are wondering, the type is made by Rush Pressure Clothing. They give you pretty good deals on um, black latex paint. Alright, so I'm going to finish working on the side, popping the hole, stringing it up, all that good stuff. Make sure everything flows the way it should. Then I'm going to finish building off all my, my blade edges. Uh, and doing the kind of point, I'll show you guys how to apply the uh, liquid latex. Peace.